Abigail? Abby? Are you okay? Hey, look. No tears tonight. Tonight we're gonna celebrate. It's what your dad would want, right? Yeah. Right. Come on. You got this. Let's go and dance. the voicemail of David Pearson. I can't take your call right now, but if you leave me a message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks very much. Have a good day. Take care. Yeah, um, I will make sure she's back in time. Thank you, bye. Thanks for coming, she told me you come get her. Where is she? Well, I tried to keep her at the apartment and she like freaked out and, and then she ran down there. I don't know where she went. I do. What's wrong with her? I got it, thank you. not that scary honestly it's amazing it's like everything just falls out of your brain and suddenly it's so clear come on come on we've got to get you home your stepmom's already called you're going to london today he doesn't even want me to go i overheard him telling daddy yesterday what are you looking at what you've never seen a girl in a bra oh come on we're on the beach think beach think bikini b is for beach b is for bikini B is also for bitch, by the way, which she totally is. I introduced her to my dad in the first place, but of course she's already forgotten that. I mean, they should call this place Coney Beach. It's not even an island, it's, it's actually a peninsula. Did you know that? Yes, I did. Come on, let's get you home, okay? My heart's beating too fast. Just breathe, okay? Seriously, feel it. One. Hey, we're nearly here. I'm not going.
going to London. What? Oh, I can't deal with it. I just want to close the curtains and crash. I'm not sure how you're going to get out of that one. Jude? Are you still taking your medication? I'm not sure I need them anymore. What about this morning? It's just such a cliche. I mean, you see those ads on the subway. Are you down and depressed one minute, energetic and ecstatic the next. You could be bipolar. This whole thing is just so random. It's not random. It's a chemical imbalance. It's actually very textbook. Still, I wish I was more than a poster on the e -train. Thank you for giving a shit. Jude? Oh, my God. Well, please tell me you've at least started packing. I'm not going. What? I can't. Well, I don't understand. Hello, Abby. Hi. I have to take Abby camping. I promised her dad. It was going to be his graduation present to her. Why is this the first I've heard of it? Come on. We're, we're, we have plans in London. You and Daddy have plans. I promise fresh air will do me good. It will help me focus. What about your birthday? We can celebrate when you get back. Your therapist said that uh, after graduation, you'd be feeling transitional and that you could be triggered. And I really think that you should be with us. I want to be with nature. It will help me get stronger. Center myself. <sighs> well, I guess I could talk to your father. Will you? He always listens to you. I'll see what I can do. What? We're not going camping. Is my dad suddenly some excuse to you? I'm sorry, it just came out. We don't have to go or anything, but it could be quite fun, right? Abby. I know you're not going camping. Uh, I admire you. You're a good friend to her, Abby. She's always been a good friend to me. ADD, then dyslexia, now this. Don't you think that all of these labels are just an excuse to get away with inexcusable behavior? No, oh, she's sick. It's real. Yeah, that's what everyone keeps telling me. I forgot my sweater. I'm gonna go get it. All right, Jude. You want to go camping? Let's go camping. I catch you right at the fair. Feel you take halfway. I don't care where we go. Talk in another voice. Do my impression of the absolute get to see the waterfall my dad would take me to every summer. He used to organize all the trips. But I think I got a pretty good game plan. Probably should have mentioned this earlier, but I may not be the outdoorsy type. You don't want to center yourself and be at one. Oh, nature. please. I just tell my stepmother what she wants to hear. Fake it so they take it. Delete them. What? He cheated on you. You guys are done. Delete them. But I thought he was the one. Set the one? Really? There are seven billion people in the world. It's a clean slate. OK. Goodbye, Seth. Well done. Thank you. So I called ahead and reserved all the stuff for the boat. But if they ask, say you've done it like millions of times, otherwise they're gonna make us take lessons. But what if the teacher's cute? Cute. What? I might need lessons. The only way you can get over your old lap is find a new one. You're so ridiculous.
Hey, how's it going? Good, thanks. Um, I'm Abby. I think we spoke on the phone. Yeah, I'm Rafe. Nice hey, to meet you. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Rafe. I'm Jude. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, yeah, I got all your stuff stacked up back, so we'll go out there. Great, thank you. You always like the hike? Yes, love it. You know, the great outdoors. And... Cool, so you've taken this type of trip before? Right? Yeah. Perfect. Well, I got everything you need right here on the list. I'll just need a quick signature, an initial, and then I'll also need somebody's credit card before you leave. This was mine, all right? Here you go, Rafe. Thank you. Thank right. you. Uh, so your first campsite is about four hours straight down the river. Just remember, no detours. Just stay on the trail. You got any questions? Just one. Where can I buy some alcohol around here? Now I'm ready. Let's go camping. Did you really just buy a fanny pack? You got a secret to do, but it's not for you to say. First time my dad ever brought me out here, I was like seven, and I saw something floating in the water. I thought it was an alligator. There's alligators out here. No, but my dad made me go over to it. I had to poke it with my paddle. <laughs> it was just a log. So no alligators? No, just logs. But it was like the scariest thing I have ever done. I was terrified. I was always a little jealous of you guys. I'm never gonna have what you have with your dad. It's not your fault. Another thing my therapist says. I have to give it to you, Jude. This was a really, really good idea. I know, right? Way better than London. Do you ever worry about what we're gonna do next? Why? Because we're transitioning as my stepmother calls it. Yeah, exactly. You know me. Come on. I'm not the least bit worried. Seriously? I'm just happy when I get through the day. You're gonna be okay, Jude. You're always gonna be okay. I know. We both are. Night, night. Bye. Love you. So about five miles that way, the river forks and the trail goes to the left. But it looks like if we take a right, it would lead us straight to the waterfall. Didn't Ray tell us not to go off piste? Well, what we're supposed to do is tie up the canoe and then walk the rest of it. That's what me and my dad used to do. That's like a six hour hike. Oh God, we're so taking the boat. <laughs> That's our turn, right over there. The water feels really rough. What are you scared? No, it just, it doesn't feel right. Jude, please stop. That wasn't me. Ah, uh, Abby. Jude.
Hey, hey, come here. I got you. I got you. Come here. Hey, what happened? Oh, God. What? Where am I? You're about 20 miles out of Asheville. Asheville? As in North Carolina, Asheville? Yeah. yeah. What am I doing here? You don't know? Where's I need my phone. I need to call my dad. I would have even my dad. What if something's happened to him? Just calm down. I need to okay. call my dad. You hit your head, okay? Just um, sit here for a minute. All right, maybe it'll come back to you. I was in New York, and I was waiting at a coffee shop. And my dad was running late. How did I get from there to here? Okay, why don't you come back to my house? Yeah, I, I, live, I live nearby. Get you cleaned up, get you to a doctor. My sister's back there, I, I can't even get back to her. How are you feeling? Can you walk? I'm Henry. I'm Abby. Voicemail of David Pearson. I can't take your call right now, but if you leave me a message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks very much. Have a good day. Take care. You okay? My 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 dad, he he wasn't with me. take you into town. My dad's got the truck and he won't be back till tomorrow. I, I could call around, see if someone could bring us in. Uh, we should get you to a doctor. I'm fine. You don't seem fine. I just remembered why my dad was late to get me from the coffee shop. Got some bad news. What kind of bad news? The worst kind. My dad, uh, he, uh, he died. I guess for a second there, I forgot. So you're out here alone? I must have been. Are you sure? We'd come out here every summer. Is there anyone else you can call? Your mom? No. It was always just me and my dad. Hey, Marley. This is Abby. Hi. Abby had an accident in the river, and I pulled her out. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm having a little trouble remembering things, but I'm fine. Well, I was going to make some pancakes. Do you remember if you like those? <laughs> I do remember. I love pancakes. Well, you shouldn't stay in those clothes. You'll get cold. Hey. Hi. Uh, this should work, I think. Um, the bathroom's in there if you need a shower or anything. Thank you. Sure. I'm so sorry about all of this. No, it's okay. It's totally fine. Just take it easy, okay? Thank oh, and those pancakes? Maybe a bit chewy. Okay.
good, right? Burr. Perfect. I feel like I'm chewing a rubber frisbee. <laughs> Do I get a sticker? Just one. Sticker? A homeschooler. I have a rewards program. So you're a teacher? No, she was going through some stuff and not doing too well in school. So I pulled her out and I put college on hold to work with her. What about your parents? My mom passed three years ago in a car accident. It hit Marley really hard. Was that her room I was in with all the beautiful dresses? That was my parents' room. My dad, he's slept in the guest room ever since it happened. I've been to clear it out, but just haven't gotten around to it yet. Save the dresses. Marley will want them one day. Really? Oh, she's such a tomboy. <laughs> Save them. And the shoes and the jewelry. <laughs> Just try it a few more times. Why does it have to be so hard? Gymnastics is difficult. Can I have some? Yeah. Come here. Come here. Good. Hi. Good. There you go, little one. So you grew up here? I did. My parents actually met in New York. Oh, really? Yeah, this place was like the way to live off the grid. It's definitely not New York. How's your head? Really, I'm fine. So we, we got to take them in every night or else the foxes get them. Oh, OK. Yeah, we had a bad run recently. We lost Rosaline last week. Rosaline? Yeah, she was the boss, but Celia soon stepped up. Rosaline and Celia, as in as you like it? Yeah, they were cousins. <laughs> Guess you don't see too many of these critters up in New York, huh? I have a new, but it's not quite like a chicken. Oh, wow. A new? What's his name? Isaac. I've had him since I was nine. We used to have another one called Fig. OK, Isaac and Fig Newton. Clever. <laughs> Can you help me get him in? Yeah, sure. Just, just, just pick, grab him? Just grab him. OK. Yeah, yeah, they're friendly. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> Come here, girl. Yeah. They're fast, I'm telling you. They're fast sometimes. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> See? Natural. Is Henry a good teacher? Sometimes. Oh, come on. Just stab me in the heart. Not that bad. California Pinot Noir, 2009. Must be good. Do you know about wine? Not really. Just what my dad taught me. Mm. He was always talking about it. Well, I, don't know, I think it exhibits like a fruit forward character, a hint of cherry, mm. as well as some warm spice notes with cinnamon being the most prominent. <laughs> OK. It's good, right? You were totally reading it off that label, weren't you? Maybe. <laughs> It is good, though. It's actually something I wish I knew more about. Then do it. I mean, take a workshop or a, apply to a vineyard or something. It's just a hobby. Pretty different from the city, huh? Yeah. Hmm. I've never been to New York. Well, why would you when you have all this? It's beautiful. There's a storm coming. Jude! Henry! 
Wait, she was on a boat. We were on a boat. She was with me. Wait, what? My friend Jude. She was with me. We were on a boat. Oh, are you sure you remember? Yes. We come out here. We just graduated, and we took a fork in the river to get to the waterfall. The water's way too rough for a boat. Yeah, we capsized. You can't remember what happened to her? No. We both fell off the boat. Oh, my God. She's been out there all day. I'll go. I'll go. I'm coming with you. No, no, no. I'll be faster by myself. Henry, please. You've got to find well, her. I will. Jude! She's at my house. She's safe. Are you okay? Yes, I, I, I can take out my bag. Uh, okay, okay. Here, come here. I got you. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Okay, just this way. It's like 10 minutes away. Abby, Jude, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. You're my so brain just stopped working. I'm so sorry. So right. I had. It's not your fault. I just wish we'd taken the bloody hike. Your leg, it's bleeding. Let me have a look at it. I was so worried. I'm so sorry. It's not that bad. I'm so happy you're okay. Do you have anything we can put on it? Yeah. Hi. Hey, it's not so bad now the blood's gone, but I do think we should put a bandage on it. Yes, sure. Give me two minutes. So he just lived out here in the middle of nowhere with his dad and his sister. That's a waste. What do you mean? He's cute. <laughs> Jude, we both nearly just died. And that's what you were thinking about? I'm sorry we didn't make it to the waterfall. Good night. Night. Love you. I read all his words, sung all his songs. Are you learning Latin? Yeah, even though all the Latin people are dead. <laughs> I minored in classics. I loved it. See? Some milk? Yes, please. I hope you don't mind. I found this in the wardrobe. There's some gorgeous dresses in there. It's just my clothes were covered in blood. Oh, coffee. Thank you. That's Mom's dress. Marley, it's OK. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I can change. Wait. You sound like Hermione from Harry Potter. <laughs> well, I am from England, like her. Hey, Dad. Son. Ladies, this is Abby and Jude. Hello. Hi. Welcome. She's wearing Mom's dress. Marley, I said it's OK. We had an accident in the river. Our boat capsized. We were trying to get to the waterfall. By boat. Not a good idea. Everybody OK? We're good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to take him into town later. Is it cool if I take your truck? Sure. Do you really have to go? Oh, my god, please stay. <laughs> oh, hey, listen, if you need to stay for another day to rest up. Uh, please stay. Uh, it's, it's fine with me. We could stay another night, but we have to call the store because we could have a boat we need to pay for. Yes. I have an idea. How possible is it to drive to this bloody waterfall? Much better idea. Great. Well, then let's make a picnic and go for it. I can make us pancakes to take. No, kiddo. You got your test today. Are you for reals? Yes, I'm for reals. Dad. D hey, don't look at me. You heard your brother. But, Dad. For reals. 
Marley. I'm taking Marley's, some of Marley's points. <laughs> Woman's laugh. Nice to hear that around here. <laughs> Been a while. She's winning. I'll say. My son in trouble? With Jude? Always. <laughs> well, it's nice to see him smile. He's uh, had a tough run. I heard. Yeah, you told me about your dad. Sorry to hear that. I felt like he was with me today. At the waterfall. Does that sound crazy? No. Not at all. In fact, you're lucky. You, uh... Better hope that never goes away. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't get any easier, does it? I'll let you know. Come on, I wash you dry. I could stay here forever. Raise the chickens, marry Henry. Oh, right. And see the one already? We'd have beautiful babies. <laughs> I don't see it. See what? Nothing. I was just saying I could marry you, have your babies, and live here happily ever after. Really? <laughs> She's messing with you. No, I'm not. I could see myself leaving New York for a place like this. Can I start a family? Really? Coming from the girl that says Brooklyn's too far from the city. Henry, do you want to get married? <laughs> then I wouldn't have to leave tomorrow. Come on, you must have guys lining up in the city to marry you. No, no one. I'm kind of tired. I'm going to head to bed. What? That hike really took it out of me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, good night. 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 Is she okay? It's my fault. I completely forgot she's not great at the whole getting married, having babies conversation. She doesn't want it. It's complicated. I think she thinks falling in love brings more pain than joy. Why would she think that? Abby's mum died during labor. Destroyed her dad. Abby's frightened of falling in love. When I was in that storm, I thought that it was 
that my luck had finally run out. I've never been so scared. And then you found me. You were my knight in shining armor. How can I ever repay you? Oh, we're fine. Today was amazing. I haven't had that much fun in years. Round two? What? What if I got up and walked down the river? What, now? And what if by the time my feet touched the water, I was completely naked? Continue. And what if I close my eyes, counted to ten, and by the time I open them, you were next to me equally as naked? I see. So what would happen next? Well, that would be up to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You okay? I was in the car. I jumped out of the car. What car? My mom was driving. I was in the back. I screamed out to her, but it was too late. Oh, honey, that does not sound like a good dream. But just remember, it's only a dream, okay? Here, why don't you try and lay down and get some sleep? Will you stay with me? Of course. Let's try and think of something nice for you to dream of. Cupcakes. Okay. So, what's your favorite cupcake? Red velvet. <laughs> okay, well, there's chocolate cupcakes, coconut cupcakes, vanilla, butterscotch, cookies and cream. I personally wish they'd invent a calorie-free cupcake so I could eat as many as I want. Hey. Hey. She said she was having a dream about being in the car with your mom. She wasn't, was she? No, no. She was supposed to be, but she was acting out. So my mom left her behind. Thanks for coming in. Of course. I'm going to go back to bed. All right, I'll take her from here. Good night. Good night. It's probably really bad of me, but I want to ask Henry if I can keep this dress. It's just so beautiful. It could be my memento from the trip. Seriously? At least it would be worn and enjoyed. I mean, don't you find this a little creepy? It's like, what are they waiting for? I know it's awful, but she's not coming back. <laughs> God, sometimes you have no idea. What's wrong with you this morning? I feel like I've made you mad. No. Do you think I shouldn't have slept with him? It's not that. Then what is it? Nothing. I just, I can't wait to be home. I know this trip didn't go as you planned, but it's been amazing. I'm completely overset because of Henry. I've moved on. Great. Morning. Hi. I'm Morning. gonna get some water. Hi. Hi. Another gorgeous day out there. The only medicine you need is a draft of the morning air. I think I'll go take it in while I can.
I didn't know he was applying again. I'm sorry, I wasn't snooping. I just... No, no, no. I was glad that I saw it, actually. Uh, any college would be lucky to have him. He's a terrific writer, you know. He writes? No. Nothing he would let you read, but... Yeah, writing was a gift that he got from his mother. She would really want him to go. Now that Morley seems more settled. Maybe it's time. Maybe. I get it, though. It's really hard to leave all this. You're right, the air. It's like medicine. Thoreau's words, not mine. He came to learn what a place like this could teach. He was my wife's favorite. She named Henry after him. She did? Oh, yeah. I love that. Are you ever going to come back? I hope so. One day. You have to. I will. Thank you so much. No, thank you. We had the best time. We needed a little female energy around here. Some more than others. Guys, we should go. It's really starting to rain. Bye. Bye. Bye, buddy. to see you again? Do you want to see me again? Yeah, I think I miss you already. Of course I did. Bye. Well, you said it yourself. I could do better than Seth, and I did. Henry's one of the good guys. Do you guys will keep in touch? We'll see. Maybe. I mean, this has all felt like such a dream. Yeah. About the only thing I have to look forward to is my birthday, and I mean, who am I going to celebrate that with? Right, of course. Well, I'm not Seth. <laughs> exactly. Not Seth.
Abby. I'm not here. You were supposed to meet me. It's not a good day. Just leave them. Jude, what's going on? Nothing, that's a problem. Nothing ever happens. Reality sucks. Are these your new meds? They're homeopathic, they're totally natural. Jude, where are your real meds? It's fine, I just need to wait for them to kick in. Jude. Please, don't lecture me. I just need to live my life the way I want to, not the way some doctor tells me how to. I'm watching myself, and if it gets bad, then... I promise you, I'm okay. I just need to wait for them to kick in. Jude, is this you okay? When was the last time you got out of bed? I'm fine. Well, what about this weekend? It's your birthday. What are we gonna do? I don't wanna see anyone. When are your parents back? Sunday night. Okay, perfect. Why don't we go out Saturday? We can get dressed up, we can have a few drinks. It'll be so fun. Please, I hate seeing you like this. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. Great. When did you become so perky? I don't know, I just feel like I wanna keep going, keep moving forward. Okay, well, I'm not going anywhere until Saturday. Oh, and by the way, I wrote to Henry to thank him for us. Henry, sweet, sweet Henry. Why can't they all just be like him? Sorry not to call, but I only had your address. What, what are you doing here? Well, I've set up a couple of college interviews. Oh, that's so great. Yeah, I, um, I've been thinking about it, and my dad said he's putting Marley back in school. So here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you staying? I don't know. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Does June know you're here? No, no, not yet, not yet. Okay, cool. Well, come on. Come in. Okay. Sorry. A bit messy. I've been uh, spring cleaning. Yeah, us too, actually. Well, I actually uh, finally got around to clean my mom's room. Oh, cool. I saved those dresses. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I'm gonna go and jump in the shower because I'm... Yeah, yeah, do whatever you gotta do. I, I would have gone straight to Jude's, but I didn't have her address. Jude, right, yeah. Yeah, I, I, to be honest, I couldn't stop thinking about her. And then I got those, those cupcakes you guys sent. Oh, yeah. And so, I don't know. New York was calling my name. All right, well, make yourself up. Okay. It's so nice you're here. It's good to see you, too. I can smell the mountains on you. I'm gonna get out of here. No, Abby, don't go. Stay. I can't believe you're here. How long are you planning to stay? I got an interview Saturday and one more on Monday. But I can stay as long as you'd like me to. Saturday's my birthday. We're going out. You have to come. God, I wish you could stay at mine, but the timing's a bit tricky. Maybe you could hang out at Abby's? Yeah. Uh, would that be OK? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm going to California next week, but... What? California? Yeah, I got an interview for an internship. 
at a vineyard in Santa Rosa. That's amazing. Congratulations. You didn't tell me that. I mean, it's nothing. I might not get it. You will. You will. Wow, everyone's doing so well. I completely forgot I had to run. I have this thing tonight. But um, I'll see you soon. OK. I'll see you tomorrow. What? Let's go to a museum or something. Great. You're going? Yeah. I am. Oh, OK. I'll see you later. if I join you? If you want to, I run pretty fast. Well, I think I can keep up. You okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love the taste of vomit in my mouth. <laughs> you got this? You see that batch up there? Yeah. Okay. Last one there's a loser, okay? Yeah, see? I've got this. You had a head start. Yeah, whatever you want to tell yourself. Wow. Yeah, New York is... New York is everything I thought it would be. When I was little, my dad used to bring me here if I was having a moment. A moment? He'd always say, everyone's so busy. We're all just ants marching up the hill. Yeah, we are. <laughs> it's Jude. Are you going to come to the museum? Uh, no, I think I'll leave you guys to it. All right. Are you back? Already? Yeah, okay. kid. It's so, so funny. Abby and I play this game when we go to a museum. Mm -hmm. She says you have to choose one piece that you would steal to take home. <laughs> and this is a piece she said she'd steal. Dying above her bed. How about you? Which one would you steal? Oh, God. <laughs> it changes every time. Do you want to get out of here? Find some place quiet? Quieter than a museum? <laughs> Sorry. I have to take this. I'll be right back. Just making the bed for you. I thought you could sleep in here tonight. A lot more comfy than the couch. Thanks. I got an extra large pizza. Dude, I plans. You eating? 
No, I haven't, and pizza sounds perfect. All right, I'll be out here. Cool, I'll be down in a sec. <laughs> well, I guess we like this. I guess we did. <laughs> you excited about California? Yeah, if I get it. I don't expect it to change everything, but I think it's a good starting place for everything to change. If that makes any sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So what about you? You excited about college? Your dad tells me you're quite the writer. Huh, my dad said that. He was having a proud father moment. Yeah, my mom wrote. It was important to her that we were exposed to good writing. Yeah, the classics. I've tried to do the same with Marley. Well, she's the only kid I know who's learning Latin, so. Which she just absolutely adores. <laughs> she does. She loves it. <laughs> Can I read some of your writing? One day? Mm. Maybe? Maybe. Yeah, maybe one day. Not today. Not tomorrow. <laughs> And the writing's not the issue, it's the whole showing it to other people thing. Okay. Yeah, I gotta work on that. One day. They look so happy. They were. Jude told me what happened to your mom. I'm sorry. There was nothing they could have done. It wasn't like he had to make a choice between me and mom. Well, at least that's what he always told me. You didn't believe him? He said he would have never have wished for anything to be different. He'd always have two loves. Well, I think he's telling the truth. You do? Yeah. It's not that hard imagining you the love of someone's life. Here, I brought you some fresh towels. I'm sorry, I was feeding Isaac and... Probably think I'm crazy, right? No, it's just... Is it for Jude? Don't worry. I'm not gonna get down on one knee in front of everyone or anything. I just brought it. You're right, it's, it's stupid. I, I don't know why I brought it. I just did. Henry, it's just... Jude is... She's complicated, you know? She has layers. Okay, aren't we all? Yeah, but Jude is, it's different. Have you spoken to her? Do you know what's going on? All I know is that ever since you guys showed up, everything feels different. I don't know how else to explain it. I get it. That's her. I am. Um, she's gonna take me to NYU today. Okay. So, about tonight, there's about eight different kind of bars I want to go to. It's definitely time we had some fun. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I'm completely head over heels for Henry. Really? I always do the chasing. It's so nice to be chased for a change. So you haven't seen Seb? <laughs> there's no Seb. Plus, I was thinking, I have no idea what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. But I read this article about women who are having kids in their early 20s, and then when they get to, like, 30 or whatever, and they know what they want to do, the kids are already in school, and they go on to have these fantastic, uninterrupted careers. Seriously, that's your plan? Hey, don't judge. I don't have a vineyard to go to. Jude, you can't just have kids because you can't think of anything else to do. You're right. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Yeah. I should just see what happens. But I do think Henry and I would have beautiful babies. Please just don't lean them on, okay? Oh, I won't, but Henry will get some. Hey, get some what? 
we got to go. Don't want to be late. I'll see you tonight, Abby. Hi, guys. Fun. You ready to go? Oh, hey, would you mind helping me? <laughs> it's got stuck. Yeah. You good? Yeah. Good. Thank you. Oh, you look amazing. Oh, thank you. Let's go. go? Yeah. <laughs> Shining armor. And another. Oh. I'm gonna pace myself. Oh, come on. The damsels in distress. <laughs> and another. It's my birthday. <laughs> I'm gonna go dance. Let's go. Already? Sensible. Yeah, that's me. Very sensible. God, I haven't had a night like this since, uh... I've never had a night like this. Yeah, well, you can always count on Jude to show you a good time. Mm. And you? You having a good time? Yeah. Yeah? God, that smile kills me. I swear, it's like the prettiest smile. It's the smile that makes me feel safe. Shut up. You're drunk. Yeah? I am, but... You know, I'm being serious. Thank you for hanging out with me. It's been really fun. And, you know, some people are just a little complicated and you're easy, you're sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Nice and sweet. Hmm? It's my birthday. I think I get a pass. What about Henry? <laughs> Henry's a good boy. He doesn't need to know about this. Have you told him what's going on with you? You mean, have I told him I have a manic depressive disorder? 
Yeah, don't you want to be honest? Why do I need to be? He's leaving town next week. Anyway, why are we even talking about this? Come on, lighten up. I just think you should be honest. Because that's so sexy. Forget it. You're just going to do what you always do. Excuse me? It's just nothing changes you. You never change. What? I'm tired. I don't want to have this conversation. I'm going to go to bed. Abby! Abby! Jude, it is just really hard being your friend sometimes. Seb. Hey, Abby. She called you, didn't she? Yeah, she said you guys were out and that I should come. <laughs> of course she did. Have fun. What, you're leaving already? Yeah. bothering you? Who's this? Um, I can explain. He's with some guy I met. A what? A guy you met? Who are we met in shining armor? What's he talking about? <laughs> Let's get a drink. A drink? No, no, no. It's, I saved your life. It's long yeah, story. I think you've had enough, pal. You need to walk away. You walk away. All right, you got about five seconds to back Henry, off. please, just go. Just go. Yeah, you heard her. Just go. You go. Go. I'm waiting. Henry, just go. Just go? Yeah. You do something? Then go! Seb! Seb, please, stop it! Oh. What the Seb? What's wrong with you? Hey. <sighs> hey. You okay? Let's go. Let's get you out of here, okay? Oh, my God. You okay? Yeah. Like, who the hell was that guy? Huh? That's a long story. Yeah, but he's a douchebag, right? Yeah, he's a total douche. He looked like he looked like Superman. Right, did I just pick a fight with Superman? No, he's no Superman. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I don't know. He looked like Superman. <sighs> I don't know what just happened. We can talk about it tomorrow. Let's just get you home. Okay. Okay. You all right? I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna okay. be sick. I'm gonna be sick. All right. You okay? <coughs> oh, God. This isn't your apartment. What? This, this, this is definitely my apartment. I know. Let's just shut the door. You're so nice. There's a town called Niceville. <laughs> I would live there, you would be the mayor, we would have like oh, community discussions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're like this this perfect being. Stop it, Henry, you don't That's, know what you're saying. No, I do, I know exactly what oh, I'm really? saying. Oh, really? What yeah, are you saying? I'm, I really, 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 really like, like you. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh. oh, okay, I got it. Come on, let's go. No, just start the bath, start the bath.
Hey. Hey. How are you feeling? Oh, like a, like a squirrel. Yeah, like a dead squirrel. Tea? Oh, yeah. Sure, thanks. So, you want to talk about last night? Yeah, at one point there, I thought you were going to choke on your own vomit. Right, right, there was that part, right? <laughs> but do you want to talk about what Are you going to see Jude today? No. I don't think I should, right? Whatever. I, I, I don't mind. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go jump in the shower. Um, I've gotta start packing for California. Are you okay? No. I'm not okay. I'm so not okay. I made a horrible, terrible mistake, and I'm so sorry. Ask me. Just ask me, and I'll say yes. I'll say, let's go for it. Let's, let's do it. I want to be with you, so just ask me. I, I want to say yes. You've had a fight with Seb. Don't ever mention his name again. He's a complete selfish arsehole, and I can't believe how he treated you, Henry, and I'm... I'm so sorry. So what do you say? Do you want to be with me? It all makes sense now. The reason you found me, the reason you saved me, the reason you followed me. I even spoke to my parents about you, and they want to meet you, so they're in town tonight. We could meet them, we could go for dinner. Sure. You should sit down and just take a breath no. for a second, please. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have come. I shouldn't have asked. I'm, I'm not good enough for you, and I don't deserve you. You know what, Abby? You're right. I'm never going to change. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm going to go, and you'll never have to see me again. It's just, Henry, I kept thinking over and over that, that maybe, maybe I'm... in love with you. I'm sorry. I can't just let her go, can we? I'm not gonna do this. Abby? Abby? Hey, um, can we just talk about this for a minute? Look, if this is about last night, can you just let me in? I see you packed my bag. So, I guess that means you want me to go, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, 
Where'd I go? I tried calling Abby. Sorry, my phone's been up. Well, she's not answering her phone, and she didn't show up at her birthday brunch. Staff haven't seen her since Saturday. Where is she? I don't know. You always know. Well, not this time. Oh, we need to find her. Her father's leaving for Hong Kong tomorrow. He wants to see her. I'll call her. I'll be right back. OK. I've been thinking. I've only been on the roller coaster once with you. I remember because they put that safety bar down over us and you closed your eyes and you clung to it the entire time. You hated it, but that's what I don't understand. You didn't even give it a chance. You didn't even open your eyes or at least try to enjoy it. Jude, what are you talking about? You're not making any sense. Where are you? I mean, why even get on the roller coaster if you're not even going to enjoy the ride? Jude, where are you? Your parents are back and they're really worried about you. It's a ride. This whole thing is a ride. Henry's a, a vacation guy, and a vacation guy stays on vacation. Reality and vacation don't mix. But you know what? At least I tried. I gave it my best shot. I wasn't scared that every piece of wood that floated by was an alligator. Jude. Shit. Please tell me where you are. I'm coming to get you. There's no ice. Jude. I gotta get ice. Jude. <sighs> We spoke. She wouldn't tell me where she is. I'll try her again. I'm sure she's fine. I'm not used to seeing her like this. She's so happy. And Jude's happy. She's really happy. But why is it always the extremes? I think it's all part of it, isn't it? Yeah, it seems like it is. I owe you an apology. I was hurt with you before. It was just a reaction to her shutting us out again. I know it's real. The books all say to make a distinction, to remember that you can have a conversation with her, but it's not her talking. It's the illness. I think that's when we have to hear her and not listen to the words, which is easier said than done. We spoke about it a lot in England, her father and I. We want to do things differently. We, we all can do better.
Hi, I'm looking for Jude Lassiter. She was brought in by an ambulance earlier today. She was hit by a car. Okay, let's see. Um... Okay, Lassiter, Jude. Okay, just go through those doors, turn left, and check in at the desk. Thank you. She, they've just taken her to surgery. Her father's on the way. I need to see her. Well, maybe you can catch them. Down the hall and to the left. Hey. Please, please stop. I need to speak to her just for a second. We need to get her in there. Please. You're okay. You're always going to be OK. I love you. We need to go. I'm so sorry. Got a 10 o'clock train. I can stay if you want me to stay. No, uh, you should go. I'll be fine. I know if I never would have came up here. It's not your fault. I can't be here without her. I think I'm still gonna go to California. That's good. You should go and get out of here. You should go. Yeah. I've been trying to write you. I'm uh, a lot better with words when I can see them in front of me. I didn't know what to say to you, so then in the end, I, I wrote something for her. I don't know if I can read it right now. I don't think I can cry anymore today. Whenever you're ready, you don't have to read it. Ever.
One. Two. Three. Some are born to burn so bright, living every day and every night, illuminating the world around, their voice the clearest sound, giving answers to those in need, urging others to seize time with speed, catalysts for change while they remain the same, participants in life but not playing the game. Yet those like that whose light shines the best will often find themselves the first to fly with angels so they may finally rest. Let's <laughs> go. 